this time we're going to tie a stone goat muddler. So uh, we have a standard wet fly. This is a B175. This is a size 10. Uh, the nature of this fly is that it's probably going to be easier to tie in larger sizes. Uh, just due to the some of the materials that go into it. So, for a tail we're going to use golden pheasant crest, topping, whatever you want to call it. So I'll take a feather here that I like the sort of tip of. I'm going to tie it in long and then pull that down until the length suits. Once I'm happy with the length, wrap back over it, wrap this up and snap it off. So, rib, silver oval. It's quite a thick one, it's not that easy to work with, but then it shows up a bit better. But you can equally use a, a silver wire or a finer silver oval if you feel like it. Wax the thread. And then dub on some black seal for the body. Get a couple of fibers caught, then you can twist that a little bit tighter. Now, don't be tempted to go too far up here because you still have a muddler head and a collar hackle to go on here, plus our normal hackles. So we're now going to tie in uh, two hackles. So what I've got here is one claret and one magenta. And I'm going to put the magenta one in front because it's a little bit softer. Tie the two in. And then take the two hackles, find the tips of them, get the hackle pliers to grip both. And I want to put on one or two turns at the start and then travel down. Because it's double tackles you don't need to put that many turns on so two or three turns down and we come underneath we catch it round with the rib and sort of wiggle the rib through. Now, collar hackle is a dyed blue guinea fowl. So I just strip off the fluffy portions here. Now, this is the good side towards use, so it's going to wrap this way. So what I'm going to do is strip off half of the feather on that side so that the last couple of wraps of this are single sided and that curve will help to control those that went before it. So now we find the tip snip that off, tie it in by the tip and fold it back. So these first couple of turns are going to be doubled because there's fibers on both sides of the of the stock but then we're going to get into single sided. Now essentially what we've tied there is a stone goat, so if you just want to tie yourself a, a stone goat, that's it. But uh, we're going to add a black modeler head 
although the fly would equally suit having uh, claret or blue as your muddler head. I just happen to be using one of the black here, so take a bit of black deer hair and holding it by the tips. Cut out a bunch. So now I take that bunch because I'm going to use it as a sort of like a fake ho collar hackle as well, and I'm going to flatten the bunch out and I'm going to set that on top there, allow it to splay around, and I grab everything between finger and thumb of this hand, place on two loose wraps and then cut off the deer hair roughly level with the eye of the hook and then as I tighten that up it will spin but then I wrap through it till I get the thread in behind the eye that back with my fingernails. And get a couple of half hitches in there to finish that off. So the head is black so it doesn't really matter how tight you cut this so to prevent it pulling out I'm actually going to cut off my tie and silk level with the outside so two to three mil tag on you'll never see that and it makes it more secure and then we take our super glue and just super glue the very front of that don't worry about the eye going into the eye and then I'm just going to give that a quick stroke that'll pull all these back from the eye itself then with the bits that we snapped off from our hackles we're still in the hackle pliers hook that up through it goes beyond the length of the tires, then pull it back, and that'll clean out your eye. And that is our stone goat modeler.